Mu Deng. She fast. She chonky. She attack. She secretes acid from her skin. What? This is actually true, but more about that later. But mostly, she's just really cute. However, there's more to Mu Deng than meets the eye. Man versus the beast! Mu Deng is a pygmy hippo and her name translates to bouncy pork in Thai. And she most definitely is a chonky little meatball, growing only up to one meter tall, but weighing up to 160 to 270 kilos. She may look cute now, but this is what she will look like grown up. The chances of a pygmy hippo attack are low, but never zero. And although there have been no associated human deaths with pygmy hippos, there have been several attacks mostly provoked by humans, but some with no known cause. Getting onto her acid blood. Pygmy hippos produce an unusual secretion from their skin, the same unusual secretion as common hippos that gives that pinkish tinge to their bodies. It is sometimes described as blood sweat, but it's not actually blood or sweat. It's known as, and I'm not making this up, hipposudoric acid, a very original name, and it is believed to have antiseptic and sunscreening properties. Pygmy hippos and hippos are actually most closely related to cetaceans, dolphins and whales. Hippos and whales share a common semi-aquatic ancestor that branched off around 60 million years ago. The skin of hippos dries out quickly and cracks, which is why they spend so much time in water. But they are so heavy, they just sink and can't actually swim which is why they sort of run along the bottom of the water. Speaking of speed, this little porker is quicker than you might think. Pygmy hippos can run up to 18 and a half miles per hour. And this is today's challenge. Can I outrun Mu Deng? What's even more unbelievable is the common hippo, which weighs on average 1,500 kilos but can weigh up to 4,000 kilos, can actually run up to 30 miles per hour. This is faster than Usain Bolt. Ten. Fifty. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> to my shame, on my first attempt, I was beaten by bloody Mu Deng. And I'm not gonna lie, my pride took a hit on that one. So I'm back for my second attempt to see if I can beat her again. This time I'm on tarmac, not on a wet, slippery, leafy floor. That was my excuse for last time anyway. I've warmed up properly. We've measured out 50 meters again. So let's see if I can beat Mu Deng this time. It's time to talk about something we've all faced. Failure. Yeah, that word that sends shivers down your spine. But what if I told you failure is not the end? What if I said it's just the beginning of your comeback story? Imagine this. You're standing at the edge of a cliff, looking down into the abyss of your mistakes. You feel the weight of every bad decision, every wrong turn. But here's the game changer, that abyss. It's not your final destination, it's a launching pad. Those setbacks, they are steps closer to success. They were setups for the greatest comebacks. I'm coming for you, Mudang. Now you might be thinking, that's Three, great for them, but two, what about me? One, Here's the go. secret. The same fire that forged their success is burning inside you. It's the fire of resilience. It's the flame of determination. And you have the power to ignite it. Three, Every failure two, is a lesson, one, a stepping stone. Go. Embrace it. Learn from it. Use it as fuel. When life knocks you down, you don't stay down. You rise stronger, wiser ready to take on the world, so the next time you fall, remember this. I've tried twice. I'm not sure it's good enough, but I'm determined not to be beaten by Mude. So I'm gonna give it a third try. Three, it's not the end of your story, two, it's just a chapter. One, go. 
and the best chapters that are yet to come. Look into that abyss of failure and smile. Because you know what, it's not your enemy, it's your ally. It's the force that will propel you to heights you've never imagined. You are a warrior, a fighter, a champion in the making. Your comeback story, it starts now, so go out there and make it epic. So maybe just take a second thought before you think about cuddling this aggressive acid skin speedy little half whale meatball.